Hello there, Deadly Habit here. Yes, finally bringing you more Betrayal at Krondor. <laughs> yes, I promised I'd get some done this week. And yes, I, I shall not fail to deliver. I'm gonna try and catch up on Botanicula tomorrow. Hopefully maybe even finish it. Um, God, I don't even remember where I was. Let's go, restore game, cave, bookmark. As I recall, I was still in the dungeons underneath Krondor for chapter one. <laughs> I should have watched the end of my last video. But, Okay, yeah, I am in the dungeons. Let me see. Okay, the inventories aren't full. Hmm. Okay, so let's refer to the map and see where the hell I am. Okay, so I'm right at the entrance again. Um, let me see. As I recall... Alright, as I recall, I was going down the center path, but let's go to the right. Oh yeah, not WASD. Uh, I gotta get used to this again. Ah, getting comfortable. Okay, so we will head to the right. Uh, let me see what kind of shape everyone's in as well. Alright, everyone's pretty much... Alright, full health, decent stam. Alright. Need rest. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so... Let's, uh... Matter when I rest until because I am using torches. Alright, Owen... Light a torch. Alright. Let me see what's... I'm trying to remember where I was. Bear with me for a few seconds. Alright, so... Yes, alright, I got him the, the good tap here. Yeah, I got them both hit. Cassian tap here. Alright, sweet. Alright, cool. So... Alright, let's head to the right and see what we can find. Hopefully it's not just a dead end. Alright, let's take a look if I've been this far on the map. Okay, so it's taking me back. This is a way I've been before. Oh, and we've got dead bodies. Yeah, so obviously I've been here before. Okay, um... Yeah, okay. Uh, I need to find my way into the palace, I believe is what I'm doing. Alright, so... Let's further go this way. Da, da, da. Have I been this way yet? No, I haven't. Alright, so let's see what is... to the south. Do some dungeon crawling. And a dead end. Ah, damn it. Oh, and like I said, uh... Probably in one of my previous videos you might have said uh, about Legend of Grimrock, uh, how it looked awesome and I was amped to play it. If you haven't gotten that game yet and you're a fan of old school dungeon crawlers, get it now. It is it is freaking amazing. It is one of the best games I've played in a while and I hope more devs uh, do some throwback dungeon crawlers like that with modern graphics. It's, it was truly delightful to play and I loved it and I highly recommend it. I can't wait for the map pack, uh, the map editor to come out for it so I can make, uh, some of my own dungeons. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we're in fresh territory now. Uh, oh, a chest! Aha! Okay, so, let's save real quick. Owen, you need to cast some magic. Um, it is consensus vessels, that's to find them. Alright, that's what I need. Owen grabbed Gorth's shoulder. Startled by the sudden movement, Gorth halted and gazed up at his companion. What's wrong? The chest Owen replied. Give me a moment. Concentrating his thoughts, another scene overlaid the one already before him, different only in the fact that it included a man kneeling before a box, a skin of naphtha in his hands. It's trapped, Owen replied, dazed by the effects of his spell. Someone's rated to explode the moment the lid is lifted. Shall we try to deactivate it? All right. Let's let's flip the coin. Oh, we deactivated it. The trap was deactivated. Locklear breathed a sigh of relief and gently lifted the lid of the box. Oh, money. Hell yeah. Okay, money, money. All right, so let's continue forward. Uh, have we been here? We have. Okay. But we haven't been to the north yet. I think it's the north that I haven't been to. Okay, yeah, so let's head north. Uh, 
hope you guys don't mind. I'm a completionist when it comes to dungeon crawling. I don't want to miss any loot or anything like that. Okay. Oh! Enemies. Backtrack a little. Uh, let's save real quick and try and sneak up on them. Yes! We snuck up on them. Successful, uh... <laughs> Initiative roll. Oh god, I've been playing too many, uh... D&D and, and pen and paper games lately. The opponents were surprised. The leader of the small mob screamed orders at his companions. A mix of fear. Oh, ah, oh, it didn't let me read the whole thing. I skipped ahead. Alright. Um, so, alright, we got the initiative. Owen's oh, going first. Flame cast. Oh, or I can blind him. Let's go for, uh, some blinding first. Invitation? No. Spare thy eyes. Am I go-to spell? Um... Let's get the one closest to Gorath first. Alright. Locklear, you go thrust him. Oh, what? Ah. Clicked behind him. Son of a bitch. Alright, so, uh, thrust on him, Gorath. Miss. Oh, and he's going after... Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, let's defend real quick. Oh, and of course, Locklear can't reach there right yet. But we're gonna take care of him. Alright, Gorath. It's got a good thrust chance. 48 with thrust. Oh, 38 damage. Nice. He's obviously got some decent armor. Alright, defend. Swing. Ah, oh, 73% chance of hitting. Hell yeah. 54 damage. Oh, I'm so glad I got those swords. Okay, Gorath. Thrust. Hopefully that'll take him out. Ah, oh, no, it missed. Alright, you really need to defend, Owen. Um... Yeah, we'll go for a thrust, 88% chance. He's dead sweet. Alright, 59% chance. Let's go for it. Let's roll the dice. Alright. Owen, we're gonna move you over here so you can actually cast some spells. Um, 73% chance. I just gotta go for it. Ah, miss. Damn it. Okay, 59... Alright, we're gonna go with the safe and thrust. Alright, he's dead sweet. Okay, so we shall cast to spare the eyes on him, making him blind. Okay, let's see. Swing, miss. What? How do you miss a blind guy? Alright, thrust. 38. Yeah, Owen, you can get in the melee. Poor damage, you beast, Owen. Alright, we'll thrust again. Cool, all three of them are taken out. Oh, looking at my Twitter roll, uh... <laughs> Ah, the Orcs Must Die Twitter is giving away Lost Adventures on 360. Huh, if you don't have Orcs Must Die and you like Tower Defense, I'd recommend getting that too. But get it for the PC. PC version is better. Okay, um, yeah, alright, so cool, we gained some stats, let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing anything there. Let me guess, did Owen get spell haggling? What? Assessment? No, I don't want him special on assessment. Haggling's up there, but... What did they increase? Lockpick? Huh. Oh, a strength one up. Cool. Alright, so let's go forward and see what loot they had. Oh, decent loot. Uh, what kind of key is that? Peasant's key? Whatever, we'll take it. Uh, you can carry the armor, Locklear. Oh, I thought... Hang on. Clicking on the same guy twice? Yeah, it's just the angle of the game. Son of a bitch. Huh. Wait, did I just search two of them? I don't think I did. Back up. What in the hell? There's the second one. There we go. Okay, so what is... Dragonstone. Ooh, that's for swords. Hmm. We could enchant our swords, but we won't do that yet. Okay, who needs... Uh, I don't know who needs arrows, so we'll just give them the lock layer for now. Bow to him, sword, so Gorak can repair it. And, oh, and you can carry some armor, too. Do, do, do. Alright, turning around. Oh, even... More loot, damn, alright. Ah, oh, I don't need more torches, but we'll take it. 
I can't leave loot behind. Not enough room, son of a bitch. Okay. Am I going to have to make another trip to the surface already? Alright, so repair. Uh, repair now. Where is my what's down? Alright, repair. Repair. Ah, I can't repair it anymore. <laughs> Come on! Ah. Alright, so we'll swap that out with a clear. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm just getting greedy now. Oh, wait, was that bow better than the one he had? Ah, oh, no, it isn't. Okay, so he's got 16, 25, 25, alright. Got a decent amount of supplies right now. All right, weapon craft has increased. You know what? Let's let's go into beast mode. <laughs> Wait, dragonstone is that for armor? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's enchant his, and let's do Owens as well. And da da da. Okay, so have, ooh, that's for swords. Give that to Locklear since he does hit better than Gorath. Alright, cool. So we got a poisoned sword and some enchanted armor now. Uh, and that clears up a little bit of inventory. Alright, let's continue forward. Uh, and actually we better save too. Uh, do I need to camp? Yeah, I should camp. Alright, let's rest until morning. Okay, so da, 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 da. we need to light a torch again. Oh, my phone's ringing. Lovely. Whatever. Okay, continuing forward onto the dungeon, into the maw. Uh, let me see. All seems to be leading to the same end. Uh, let's see. Oh, that doesn't go to the left. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, is that another dead end? It's another dead end, son of a bitch. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing too much Grimrock. I'm used to seeing, I'm seeing secrets everywhere now. All right. So have I been, oh, hello. I almost missed you. Okay, so <laughs> let's save again, we've got another chest. All right, time to uh, cast some magic. It's safe. All right, let's try and open it. Uh, peasant's key. Yeah, broke a peasant's key. Whatever. Doesn't fit. And uh, broke that. Whatever. Doesn't fit. All right, let's pick the lock. Beyond his ability, some of a ah, come on. We're gonna increase lock picking. <laughs> You'd figure when I beat a guys, when I beat a group of guys and I get a key, it'd be for the nearest treasure chest, but of course it's not. I think JRPGs uh, trained me to believe that. Or just poor game design. What the hell is this lock picking at now? No, oh, 44. He's not that good at it. Damn it, I need to increase his lock picking. Son of a bitch. Alright. Why does a weapon craft just increase for... Ah, I'm not going to question it. Okay, so... Let's backtrack. Ah, one thing I wish I could do is make notes on this map. <laughs> Grimrock spoiled me yet again. Uh, then again, uh, the older games like this, you used to have to do it on graph paper for the maps. And just map them out yourselves. You didn't have the handy dandy mapping like this. Okay, so that takes us. I want to go back down the center. Let's. All right. So I was heading. Huh. Let's explore. Okay. If I head this way. Let's take a look at the map again. Zoom out a bit. All right. Let's see what's up in this direction. If there is anything, or if it's a dead end. Uh, 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 uh. Ok, 
Okay, so... Alright, so that was just a treasure chest that I've already looted. Alright, so... Da, 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 da. That brings me to there. Alright, let's head... Da, da, da. I'm gonna head back this way and see what was up the center. I think I've cleared... I must have cleared all these hallways already, so... <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. New tunnel, okay. Back, all right. Uncharted territories, save. All right, moving forward at breakneck speed. All right, so we loop here, loop here. Oh, we got an open... More open room. All right, have I been here? No, I haven't. Okay. Uncharted territory, my friends. Okay. Oh, and of course my torch is going out. Let a new one, Owen. <laughs> we shall not use your magic today. Oh, hello. What is that? All right. Let's explore real quick. Is that a grave or? Huh. It's a marker. Okay. Let's see. Transport through these sewers is strictly prohibited. Official crown or business only. Swordmaster Corby. I think this may lead up to crown door. Where is... Or the, to the palace. Let's see. Where's the ladder? If so, I'm going to have to keep exploring. But let's see. Alright, locked great. Let's see. Can we open it? Of course not. That'd be too easy. Uh, so, ah, damn it. Of course not. Okay, so that that would have been too easy. All right, continuing on. I think we just searched that entire room. All right, so whoa, didn't mean to go to the main map. Okay, back to main. Trudging forward. All right, so. This takes us to... Aha! Okay, so we're off shooting into that pathway. I believe that may be a dead end up there. I'm going to double check that before I check these other offshoot pathways. Alright, so continuing forward. Aha! Yes, we shall try and swing across. Indiana Jones style. Do, 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 do. Okay, um... I believe this is a dead end. Let's see. Didn't search that corner, apparently, though. Whatever. Okay, so this takes us to the farthest depths. Is this a dead end? Yeah, that just loops back around. Okay, so, uh, God. How do I get up out of these sewers without having the skills to pick these locks? Okay, let's swing back across. Do -do 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 -do. All right, so heading back, let's check out these other offshoots that I haven't explored yet. You'd figure that that spot with the marking would let me go up. All right, so I've got an offshoot going down and another one going up. Uh, we'll do the down one first because that likely will not lead us to where we need to go, but there might be some loot and some baddies to kill. Okay, so it's going to be the first one coming up on the left here. I believe this is it. Let's see. Yes, it is. Da -da -da. Oh, great, another tweet. Horse must die. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, I have a Twitter roll on my uh, desktop and, and cool stuff pops up while I'm playing. Horse must die. Oh, we'll be posting codes all weekend. Oh, so if you don't have the game, yes, you could possibly win it if you follow their Twitter. And Cardboard Tube Samurai Costume Steam DLC. Huh, I don't have that one. 
I'll have to see what the hell that is after I'm done playing this. Okay, so, ah, uh, we found another offshoot. Alright, so this potentially leads back to the way we came from. Which, yes, okay, so there's some dead bodies, so clearly I've been here. <laughs> and there was another pathway back there. Yeah, I've already picked them dry. Alright, so let's go back and check the other offshoot, which was this way. Um, aha, uh -huh, something could be this way. Treasure, maybe? Or wait, I believe that is the way up. Huh, okay, so, um, <laughs> we're not going to do that quite yet. I want to finish my looting. All right, so we'll make a mental note of that so we can progress the story finally. And I think get out of chapter one, if I <laughs> recall properly. We'll make that the climax of this video. Um, all right, so... You know me, I have to get my money and uh, my loot and explore everything. More dead bodies that I have left there. Okay. Da -da -da. Continuing forward. Okay. We've got... Oh, more loot. All right, so save real quick. Owen, do your thing. Oh, no. Nope. That's not how I cast magic. Owen, do your thing. No, but we have more rope. Who's who's my rope master? Is it Goroth? Or rope. Six. You are my holder of ropes, Owen. And you shall hold the shovels as well. Uh... I believe that gives him more strength. I gotta, I really gotta look this up <laughs> and refresh my memory. I could be maxing out. Whoa! Someone whistled. Turning around, luckily felt the stone sink in his gullet, fearing that they had left themselves open to an attack by yet another the band of the Nighthawks. To his great surprise, however, familiar friends stepped from the shadows. Oh, sweet. James! Hell yeah! James, by the twelve gods, Locklear, your hair! It's just like you, Jimmy. I haven't seen you in seven months. Then I rescue you from a band of Nighthawks, and the first thing you want to talk about is my bloody change of hair color! What is going on around here? The front gate is smashed and there are Nighthawks loose in the sewers! Not Nighthawks, imposters. Someone has been trying to convince Prince Arutha that the Guild of Death has re-established operations here in Krondor, and is using the sewers as their hideout hoping that the Lanciers will come down and clean out the place. In doing so, I think whoever is running this game hopes that the Lanciers will root out the Mockers while they are at it. What? Take out the Guild of Thieves? Doesn't seem likely from all the things you've told me from your days as a Mocker. More to the point, we know now a few of the Nighthawks escaped to Romney when we smashed them up after that affair with Prince Princess Anita. They certainly won't dare tread Crondor Street for a while now. For a while yet. I've been tracking around down here trying to find out more when I ran into those fellows. So why have you come back here so soon? Why have you come back so soon to Crondor, Locky? Oh god, that nickname. I thought you were going to be gone another four months or so. I've got bad news from the Northlands. Looks like the Dark Brothers are stirring again. They raised... Mermandamus' battle standard over Sir Sargoth. And there's a Moretal army gathering to attack the kingdom. This Moretal used to be one of their old clan, one of their clan chieftains, something of a hero during the Rift War against the Sumerani, too. I thought Prince Rutho would be interested in talking to him. Ooh, jackasses with loud cards. <laughs> I don't like this, Lucky. Moretal stirring again in the north and something. Someone mimicking the Guild of Death. My bump of trouble says that <laughs> things are going to get far worse before they get better. My bump of trouble. My bump. My bump of trouble. What the? F it, 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 I, I'm not going to question it. I assume since you're down here that you're trying to get into the palace the way I showed you a few years ago. Yes, I was thinking I would have to pry off the grate somehow. But if you have the key, it would save me a great deal of trouble. Still on me, and it's all yours. If I, 
I can find my way down into the palace. I can find my own way into the palace. I'm going to creep around a while longer down here and see if I can unravel this particular mystery. Suit yourself. I, for one, am anxious to get out of this hole. Come and get me for breakfast tomorrow after I've spoken to Prince Arupa. So, we now have a key and my torch, of course, went out. Oh, it looked like it did. Or my eyes are just horrid. No, it's in. Okay, cool. Um, so... I wonder if that really was the way up. Alright, so... Da, 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 da. What do we have here? Alright, let's swing across. Da, da, da. Do, 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 do. Nothing? Really? Really? Not even a button on the wall or something? Sorry, nothing but bitter disappointment here for you. Okay, so swing back across. Do, 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 do. Alright, continuing around. Uh, oh, and I... Did I go in that chest? Yeah, I did. Okay, that was a rope or something stupid. Alright, they need rest. Eh, rest can... Yeah, let's rest. What the hell? Camp until healed. And, of course, my torch went out. Light the torch. All right. Let's see. I should have a key for the grates now. Shall we try to open it? Oh, I do. No good. It doesn't fit. Yeah, of course. Uh, so apparently that was the way I needed to go. That doorway. Um, before I do that, I should go sell this loot and get money. Uh, how far am I away? Okay, so that is the way I need to go. All right, let's do this real quick. Backtrack our way. Do do do. All right, zoom. Come on, multitask. All right, so cool. Yeah, it should be really easy. I've explored all these dungeons now. Sweet. Okay, so turn. Okay, we can go back to main view. It's going to be... Whoa, okay. Turn, turn. And I believe it is this way. Alright, cool. So, let's go back to the surface real quick and offload some of this crap we have. Even though the shops in Crondor don't do... Yes, we know. We know how you feel about the shops. Okay, so let's see what we have that we can see. Here. Anything? What is wing root oil? Alright, so we're gonna save these instead of selling them like I have them. Turn back, I will keep um what's this? True sight tea. Yeah, that's good for archers. I don't use archery that much yet, so no use for such an item. Alright, this is the wrong shop to get these little gems and crap. Alright, this shop. Let's see what I can get for what I have. Alright, let me see. No use for such an item, of course. That that makes total sense to me. Alright. Alright, so everything's in pretty damn good shape. Let's see how much I get for this. 32 sovereigns, nice. Uh, that's repaired. 3 sovereigns, 6 royals, not bad. I think I repaired that, yeah. Okay, so the great sword. 48 sign? Yes, I will take that. Gladly. Uh, extra arrows. Yeah, we'll get rid of those. Um, bow. 14 sovereigns, 3 royals, not bad. Um, okay, 2 Gorath to repair and offload this. 86, nice. Sovereign, 7 royals. 98, nice. Alright, 17 sovereigns, one row. Ah, we've made a nice chunk of change. Um, let me see, I've got four uses left of my whetstone. I need another armor hammer. That I do know. Alright, let me see how much theirs are. Roach, uh, can't get the great tower armor yet. Well, I could, maybe. What? He doesn't have repair stuff? Oh, he does. Alright, cool. 
Well, let's haggle it down. And of course not. I shall haggle it down, damn it. <laughs> I will not pay your outrageous prices. 28 gold. Okay, 26 and four royals. Whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so that goes to Gorath. All right, I've got 761 left. Uh, Elven armor, great plate. Huh, what's the stats on it? I'm trying to remember how you look at stats. Huh. Let's see, alright, more info. Wait, I can't do that at the shop? Alright, no, 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 no. Is it shop? Commissioned, alright, kingdom armor. You know what, we're not going to bother with that yet, because I think, if, if I recall correctly, something's going to happen when I go through uh, and progress to the next chapter, which, which I don't want to spoil quite yet. Alright, let's go back in. Alright, so it was this way. Da, 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 da. Uh, dead bodies, okay, cool. Then is our call. Da, da, da. Of course, haha. <laughs> I'm amazing with my memory. Alright, so we'll save real quick. They descended the stairwell. Halfway down at Spiral, they discovered a heavy iron door which prevented them from moving any further downward. Looks like it's rusted shut, Locklear said, examining the reddish dust which caked the lock. No going further from the time being, his heart and they led the way back to the mouth of the stairwell. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, so. Ah, Alright, I know where I have to go. Go back to the area that had. Uh, a freaking <laughs> sign in the room. Okay, let's find our way back there. I think it was this way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to progress the story today in this episode since you guys have been so patient waiting for me to bring out a new episode. Uh, even if it means running around for a while. All right. Da, da, da. There's a sign. All right, cool. This has to be it. I hope. Alright, let's save real quick. Yes, let's try and open it. No good, it doesn't fit. What the? Which is the way up? Ah, oh, son of a... I'm gonna go out on a limb here and hope that it's the furthest into the sewer. Which means I have to go... Alright, dun dun dun... Let's hope that it's that way. Uh, da, 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 da. If not, we're gonna do some process of elimination. Alright, so I have to keep my eye open for the hole in the path here. Do do do... Alright, go, go... Do 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 do... Alright, swing. Wouldn't it be funny if the rope broke, or there's a chance that it could break? Alright, lop, great. Uh, doesn't fit. Mm. Alright. So, this way there is... There is more this way. Wait, which way is it taking me now? Okay, it's taking me this way. Alright. So... Yes, we shall try to open it. There we go. All right, cool. Cutscene. Oh, and you get to see part of my desktop now. The gate swung open. Vaulted by the thick scent of excrement in the chamber, Locklear hastened to the ladder affixed on the far wall, ascended its filth slick rungs behind him. Behind him, Gorath and Owen reluctantly did likewise, gaffing on the noxious vapors in the shaft. This is nothing, Locklear grunted, shoving upwards against the grating. All the windows in the palace are open right now. You ought to smell it in the winter. Oh, -ho. Darkness surrounded them as they slithered out of the privy. Their only impressions of the chamber provided by the faint flicker of distant firelight. Ten yards before them, the hall joined with an elaborate... Uh, what's that? Colonnade? Colonnade? Is that it? Eh, it's hard to read. The elaborate colonnade stretching in either direction. 
Somehow I hadn't pictured my first visit to Crondor like this Owen sighed, falling blindly in step into step behind Gorath and the Seigneur. What, you didn't like the romantic tour? Locklear chuckled. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Not many people get to see that way into the palace. Drawing up short, Locklear's features brightened as he observed a pair of approaching figures lost in conversation. Self-conscious of his <laughs> bedraggled, bedraggled, okay, that's a new one. His bedraggled condition, he straightened his uniform and cleared his throat with a st stentorian, yeah, stentorian air. Greetings, Prince Arutha and Master Magician Pug. Cutscene? Yes, cutscene. Arutha. As glad as I am of the sight of you safely home again, Locklear, I can't say that my nose is as well pleased. I thought we had broken you and Senior James of clambering around in the sewers. You know the way of old habits, Highness. We encountered a bit of trouble with the gates, and so I chose a more expedient, though somewhat more disagreeable path. It came to a happy end, however. James told us to send word that he is well and would see you in the morning. Ah, I love these cutscenes and the way it's all live acted. Incurable sewer rats, the both of you. I shall have to order that each of you be accompanied by a score of washing maidens to keep you presentable enough for court. Welcome home, Lockie. God, I, I would slap someone if they nicknamed me Lockie. I, I get irked. My, my name's Michael. Mike. I get irked when people call me Mikey. Ugh. Anyways, continuing on. Thank you. As happy as I am to be here, I'm afraid I come with bad news from the Northlands. I expected as much. With the false Nighthawks prowling my streets above and below, it can only mean the more Edel are up to their old mischief. What do you know? Motioning to Gorath, Locklear introduced the former more Edel chieftain with a wave. Slowly, Gorath lowered his hood. The gasps and startled reactions of those crowding the hall helped mask the stealthy entrance of a second more Edel in the chamber. This one armed with a longbow. Damn assassins, they're everywhere. Oh, here we go, live action. Oh shit! Pug. Assassin! Get down! Fireball! Look at those particle effects. God, 1990 graphics at their best. <laughs> okay, yes! Uh, we finally reached chapter two. Shadow of the Nighthawks. Okay, so... Yes, let's give the introduction to this chapter and then I'm gonna stop playing. A whisper led him, led him through the mad... A whisper led him through madness. He stumbled forward with unfamiliar feet ten times too small to belong to a warrior. There were lights on the hills around him. Fires, voices, shouting through a downpour of sloshing hoof hoofbeats. He reached for his sword, then remembered that he hasn't he hadn't a sword that night. He had only been a boy of twelve midsummers. Only a boy, and yet he led the ragged remains of his father's tribe. Who leads the more idle? The whispering voice insisted in his head. I must see more. Years, a river of men forced together in a bleeding tide, and he was amidst them. Screams rang. A howling figure silhouetted himself against the moon and brandished a bloody sword aloft. The wolfish figure screamed words of wrath and damnation as he cleaved his way through his more idle brothers. He was Delican, former general of... Mermandamus' leader. God, uh, uh, these names. He was Delican, former general of Mermandamus, leader of the Unified Tribes of the Northlands. And he was the enemy. Gorath! The memory detonated into a million fading thoughts, each fleeing after the faint echoes of a weak whisper. Before him now, there was a new image, the face of a fair young girl whose pale blue eyes watched him with weary interest. There were others, too, all seated like himself around a polished council table, all studying, all dissecting, and Gorath was the object of their scrutiny. I cannot find the truth, my prince, the tired girl whispered finally quietly. His mind is chaotic. I find images, but I cannot hold them long enough to understand. Narrowing his dark eyes, Prince Arutha glared at Gorath. He hides his thoughts. Gorath is more idle, Pug quickly interceded for his exhausted daughter. Even with Gamina's exceptional talent for sensing thoughts, 
His mind may have many innate psychic defenses. I may need to send for one of my advanced students. No need to disturb studies, Master Magician Pug. Morrill speaks truly. Council members exchanged surprised glances, then turned their attention to the aged magician seated next to Pug. Lowering his eyes, the man made a dismissive gesture. Forgive me, I do not mean to presume, but I have looked into his mind as well. Makala continued, War in the kingdom would have many wide-ranging effects, not the least of which could lead up to a disruption of trade between our two worlds. My emperor of Surani would be most displeased if our rift-making secrets were seized by barbarians in warfare. Korath glo glowered at the Surani magician. Trading agreements notwithstanding, the Morello watch your borders. Nighthawks spy on your imperial cousins, and before the snows there shall be an army come to the kingdom. Heed my words, Prince of Krondor. You must prepare your troops. Anger flashed in the thunderheads of Aruthra's eyes as he rose to his feet. What I must or must not do will not be dictated by a, dis a dissident Miss Morettel. If not for Locklear's good faith in you, I would have had your head staked on a pole and prayed up and down the low quarters of Krondor once I saw you. What a dick. I've been tolerant while I listened to your vague speculations based on incidental half-hearted, half-heard conversations, but how am I to believe what you say? What evidence have you laid before this council to prove what Delican intends to do? What evidence? I bear the humiliation of betraying my vow as a moral and the indignity of surrendering to a sworn enemy. Call out. Why betray Delican to the Kingdom of the Isles? Of what benefit to you is it to snare him? He is leader in name only. However bitter a drought, a drought, a drought, is that drought? However bitter a drought Delcan may be for your kith and kin to drink. No, it's however bitter a draft Delcan may be for your kith and kin to drink, magician. His rule is black poison in the gullets of me and mine. Already he enslaves my cousins and rapes the land. Bloody his nose, Prince of Crondor. Blunt his swords, and the unified tribes will cast him down in wrath. Let him cross your northern border, however, and ten other clans will join their strength to his, and the legacy of Mermandamus will be but a spark next to his glory. Where would you have me send my troops? If indeed he intends to strike against one of our northernmost possessions, which castle shall I garrison for the attack? High Castle? Iron Pass? North Warden? If I am to fight a war, by my teeth, tell me where you would have me fight it. Would that I could tell you. Delken holds in good confidence only a handful of cowering dogs, and among them, only a few are privy to his war plans. His private counsels are restricted to choice individuals. His advisors, Narab and Nago. His mistress, Lealian. I think that's it. Lealian? His son, Moro. Moriyulf. And Nighthawks. Yeah, I'm probably but butchering some of these names, but whatever. He keeps foul company, that leader of yours. Her Highness, if you give me leave, I believe I can find the evidence of Delican's intent. I will need someone to accompany me to Romney and supplies for my journey and a small parcel of gold. Romney? What do you think you can find in a provincial river town in the heart of the kingdom? I aim to catch a bird in flight. Of late, Delican has emptied a good deal of his treasury to revive the services of the Nighthawks. In exchange, he has demanded tactical information about kingdom holdings. He's turned the Guild of Assassins into a Guild of Spies? Only for a time. Although the payments have been left in various hidden locales, the messengers were always sent to the rendezvous in Romney. If I go there, I may be able to intercept information concerning a forthcoming attack. Would such evidence suffice? Perhaps. Damn me, but I don't trust you, Gorath. How do I know that this isn't a plot of yours? We can weigh the evidence to our heart's content, and your cousins could be slitting the throats of my serfs as we sit dawdling. Go to Romney. What you will provide for yourself. This is part of some secret moral scheme. I'll not luck the fool before the world. Pug, unroll the map for me. The scroll smelled of dust. Scrawled in chicken scratches and spider tracks, tiny lines staggered across the 
moth-eaten paper, indicating the paths that were the major roads within the kingdom. Pointer in hand, Rutha bent over the map and pointed to a large black dot. We are here in Crondor. At dawn tomorrow, you will leave through the main gate and rendezvous with your escort. Senor James, I know you might have preferred Locklear's company, but he has business elsewhere. You will head to Romney. Providing one of Delkin's assassins doesn't slit your throat first. You should reach the Urson Ford within the month. In Romney, you will join a special detachment of King Liam... Liam's soldiers staying at Black Sheep Tavern. They may be of service to you. Nodding, Gorath took into Ruthro's advice, listening studiously as the prince reviewed the details. If you find the evidence, I will act only when James has conveyed the information to me. Is that clear? Only when I receive James's word. Until then, I wait. Understood, Gorath replied. Good, Ruthro replied, slapping the surface of the table with his palm. I don't have a table in front of me to do this. Looking around the council chamber, he noted the wearied expressions of all who sat around the map. Why don't you let Gamina and Makala show you around Crondor? I have a few things I need to consider alone. Reading the offer as a polite dismissal, the worn council members began to file out the door, most glad to be on their feet again following the grueling session. As Pug passed by, however, Rutha snapped his sleeve and drew him back to the table. If you don't mind, I would have your counsel, Cousin Pug. Certainly, Pug replied, resuming his seat. I am all attention. Okay, Arutha. As you see it, Delkan could have only two potential targets for attack in the kingdom. Hi, Castle. Obviously pointed here with this handy-dandy pointer. And North Warden. His fortress at Sir Sargoth is 300 miles to the north, and I doubt he has the resources to defend a line that long. So an attack at North Warden seems unlikely, leaving High Castle, which is a viable alternative, but neither target seems to have an obvious goal. I, knew you are, I know you are no field strategist, and you hate to become involved in state matters, but I should like you to delay your return to your home at Stardock for a while. I feel ill at ease. You are not alone in that. I, too, have sensed something unusual in the air, but I won't ascribe it to anything as dire as magic. More likely, we suffer from bad soup. Feelings aside, I will call up the militia reserves from Malk's Cross, Darkmoor, and Lighten to join them to a detachment of the Crondorian Lancers just outside of the Dimwood. James will send word to me there. What of the garrison? It will remain in place. I have considered the option of a full push south, and it seems unlikely, but I will give Delkan nothing. Our agreement remains. Now we wait. God's help Gorath if he betrays us the more idle. And with oh, chapter two, Shadow of the Nighthawks. Ah oh, god, we have more text. <laughs> so this is gonna stretch to an hour before him quit. Palace. The majesty of the palace was impressive, drawing appreciative glances of astonishment from all as they wound through room after room of banquet halls, reception areas, and at last a colorful decorated gymnasium before entering the throne chambers of the Prince of Crondor. Okay, so, oh. exit, there's the sewer, we talk, you know what, we're just gonna exit, see, they could have, they could be seen, James halted the party to consider, let's not give Delkin any more help than he needs, to leave through the palace's main gate, we might as well have trumpeters going before us and announcing the fact to everyone within the kingdom of the isles, the sewers are probably our best option. Okay, so, we will go down in the sewers, save, and we will do this, <laughs> yes, let's go in, alright, we can come back up here and talk and stuff next episode. So we're going to save. I'm going to leave it off here. Hopefully uh, the wait has been worth it. We are now on to chapter two of nine chapters, I believe. Uh, might be ten. I believe it's nine, though. But yes, this has been Deadly Habit. Um, God, 50 minutes. Not bad for an episode. We have James and Gorath now for our party. So, uh, yes. Um, Keep tuned in. I hopefully should have a new episode up of Botanicula. Uh, hopefully tomorrow maybe we'll wrap that up. And I'm going to try and get another episode in this as soon as possible. It's it, probably not going to be tomorrow, though. What? Yes. Appreciate you guys watching and bearing with me. Um, I did save. All right. So back to the main menu. All right. Yeah. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.